Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with a TTM recap episode. Um, I did not make a video yesterday just because I was off my computer all day. Um, did not even log on at all. Um, lately I've been trying to reply to comments uh, on at work, like on my break. So, you know, if it's just like a short little thanks or something, that's why. Because um, I don't have that much time on break to um, do a whole bunch of comments so um, that's why we've kind of just been really busy lately um, it's, we're going to the Memorial Day so retail it's getting busy you know summertime working extra hours I'm just exhausted not having the time um, didn't get a whole lot for Monday um, I got three successes um, would have been four but uh, I'll show you why so it looks like he did not seal it at all and uh, I know who it is. It's Steve DeBerg. Um, that's how I know because I will initial their first and last name and the month and year I sent it out. So the only one with that initial is Steve DeBerg that I've had out since January. Um, it's definitely not been sealed, so it wasn't stolen or anything, so that's good. But uh, whether or not there's anything in here to begin with, I have no idea. Um, he's been signing. I, I thought. Uh, I would have gotten this back a long time ago, but maybe uh, he just sent it back empty. Who knows? So either there was a card in here that signed and it fell out, or he just sent me back an empty envelope, which is probably not likely. But again, it is a failure, so maybe I'll write him again and tell him what happened. I don't know. I, I really don't know what I'll do there. Um, also, on the show, these are off real quick. I got these last week and forgot about it. Um, I just picked up former Rocky J. Payton. Picked up an autograph of him. It was like 50 cents on CUMC, so I bought it. Um, also bought a autograph rookie card of John Gray from Finest from last year. Um, one of our future pitchers. Um, I think he's still injured, but uh, he'll come back hopefully strong. Um, Kyle Freeland, who's been a real big surprise, the Colorado hometown hero, been pitching really well. Rockies are in first place last I looked, so we got the pitching to do. I haven't seen a team um, that just had players that just, you know, you may not have heard of them, but they just seem to get the job done since the World Series team of 07. So I'm real excited for this season. Hopefully they can keep going. Injuries won't be a problem like they've always been. Hopefully we can keep the bats going. Trevor Story needs to heat up a little bit more. And uh, Bullpen just needs to lock down. Uh, not give up so many runs every now and then, but they have been doing pretty decent. But Kyle Freeland's been a really nice uh, left-handed starter. Kind of surprised this year. So I picked up an autograph. His is really cheap. I was going to try and get an autograph of Senzatella, but uh, his, he only has like one, and it's like really expensive. So I was like, oh, hold off. So the TTM successes got a former boxer. This is Danny Lopez. He was known as Little Red. Uh, he was a featherweight. And he signed a Sports Illustrated cover. Unfortunately, I did not realize it got cut off. I should have gone with probably a 5x7 on there. But uh, regardless, still really cool. That was out for a couple months. That was pretty cool. It might have been lightweight. I can't remember. Um, Mickey Davis, former Milwaukee Bucks player there, signed a photo. Kind of hard to see because it's pretty much all black in the background. Uh, probably was the best color to go with anyways and then got two TTMs from the UK this is from my sister has been out probably exactly a year if not almost exactly a year uh, sent out in May 2016 it was meant to be a Christmas gift for her or last year but uh, I guess it came a little late for her birthday but that's alright he did inscribe it to my sister and uh, she's a big fan of Doctor Who and this is her favorite doctor David Tennant so she liked that one. Signed it 8x10. So technically, um, if you don't include the TTMs I sent to the UK about a month ago, because you know they'll probably take a while anyway, so I'm not including them. I'm pretty much 100% for my UK send out, so it's pretty cool. I haven't sent that many out, but that's pretty good return ratio. Um, at least 10 have come back, 10 out of 10, at least. So that's pretty encouraging. 
to continue that. And then I got an email from Guy Smith. I forgot I sent this out. This is from the UK. And a signed photo uh, for his Bentley racing car. And he sent a couple unsigned, just like advertisements and the race roster. And another ad slash bio thing. So that is it. Um, hopefully I'll have more in a little bit, but uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Talk to you later. Bye.